<laughs> so much more room. You see all the room that we have now, I got room to stick things all around it. So uh, compared to the other one, nice and compact looking. Okay, we had HP Office Jet 8600 for many years and that served us well, And but it started to act up and it's probably time to get a new printer. With HP, you know, the issues with them is that they only want you to use their proprietary ink. That became illegal, so now, you know, you could use third-party ink, but make it difficult for your machine to run good with a third-party ink. Originally, I want to stick with the HP printers because they are pretty easy to set up and the, the wireless interconnect is pretty good. We had no issues with the 8600 printing from remote sources. But we're looking for these new Fangle type of printers that have refillable ink tanks. The only two that I was considering was the Epson and the HP. They're both uh, pretty compatible as far as the amount of pages you get out of it. But I decided to go with the Epson because, quite frankly, Costco had it on sale. I was going to look at just the basic eco tank and that's the 2800 but you could get the ET uh, 3850 which is almost the top of the line uh, Epson for $20 more than the 3850. The difference between a 2800, which is the basic model, and 2050 is the document feeder, and the 3850 gets you the automatic document feeder. And the 3850 gets you the larger LCD display, I believe. It's a 2.4 inch. And if you go through Costco's, you get the warranty, and actually Costco throws in two extra bottles of black ink. So that's going to last you probably a lifetime for me. Now, I was looking at uh, EcoTank systems because they cost a little more than a regular cartridges that you buy. But as you know, the cartridges always run out and they nickel dime you to death. They always clog up and, and give you issues. These, what all you do is you buy the refills and you just refill them as you need and the separate tanks. So they become more economical. And since these are large uh, tanks, they tell you you could uh, last almost like a huge amount of time. Bottle black one will last you uh, 7,500 pages or 6,000 using the color. That's a lot of printing to do. You know, big concern is will these things go dry on you? You're going to have to print or at least run a test page maybe twice a week, I'll say. And that's the ink flowing so that it doesn't dry up on you. So let me just go over the, the features with you a bit, and I'll just go over what they have up top here. You can actually print. You can copy, scan, Wi-Fi internet connection. This is automatic two-sided printing because it's the uh, 3850. It's got a larger paper feed in the back. Auto copy, scan. Now it's just wireless, so you can do mobile printing and all that. This also does the Apple AirPrint. You could also fax with this thing using your computer fax software so you just copy it into your computer and then you, nowadays people just attach it to an email so this is a and the only difference between this and the top line model is that the top line model has a built-in fax machine now you may want the 3850 versus the 2850 or the 2800 is because this also gives you an ethernet connection and it gives you usb input i believe so but let's open this thing up anyway and after we open this thing up, cross my fingers, set up on a printer is always kind of iffy. A lot of people have troubles with them. Hopefully Epson's uh, software is pretty straightforward. So you get to start here, quick guide. YouTube internet's probably your best friend if you're having trouble setting these things up. Looks like we got the inks here, so we got the two free inks that they give you, black. Yellow ink. Well, that's a lot of ink. I mean, <laughs> the cartridges, you only get a minute portion of these. Mm, that looks like your, your AC cord. And let's see, we'll see if we're trying to how to get this thing out of here. Oh, got more ink down here. So you got the black, magenta. This has got to be the blue. That's pretty light. Really light, I mean, compared to the uh, other printers. Yeah. Okay, you got a lot of tape holding this thing down, so I just start peeling off the tapes. Tapes all over the place. You got the see-through here for your ink levels. A lot of people have the satisfaction of pulling tapes out. Wonder who they paid to put all these tapes on. Document feeder. 
Okay, it's a fold down document feeder, so it's not a floating type, so you won't be able to do books and stuff that easily. Okay. So it took long taking off all the tapes than uh, the actual unboxing, but it's a pretty compact unit. Very light and compact. Lightness down kind of makes you wonder about the quality, but we shall see. This is the output. This is the input. So it's, it's front loading, which is nice. A lot of, uh, I think the less version is, is back loaded. So this is front loaded. Looks like you can adjust the width for different card stocks and all that. But this is a, just a quick uh, unboxing of the Epson EcoTank ET3850. And then uh, I'll set it up and we'll do some printing and see what it looks like. Let's get it set up right. So it's not touch screen. Okay, I guess. Looks like this is the pad where all the old ink goes into as you're doing the maintenance on your machine. You know how you do cycle. Looks like this is replaceable, so if it gets saturated, you can replace it. Well, that's nice to know. I don't know why it's having me do this. Okay, I tighten it back up. Cap. That exposes the nozzle. Okay, so it says do not shake the bottle, just take off this cap here. First time we're doing this, so. Okay, you just line up the grooves, grooves over there, I guess. You can see the ink coming up. That's pretty good. It looks like it's a no mess type of uh, ink filling. I wonder if it automatically stops. We shall see. Oh, it's not like it automatically stopped. So we'll carefully pull this out. Yeah, no drip. <laughs> and I don't know if there's. Ooh. Let's see. A little bit left. You know, a very tiny amount left. Blues next. And we just go through all the other inks. So it automatically stops. Like it says. These these just line up with the, the slots on top. Doesn't drip. You can see how much ink is left over. You don't squeeze the bottle and don't shake the bottle, you don't want air bubbles in it. That's the only thing you gotta be do that's I believe with the Epson printer, uh, if you register online, it comes with a one-year warranty. They'll give you a second year warranty with it. But since this is a Costco thing, I think they automatically give you the second year and any problems with it. 
this front end just take it back to Costco's. Well, no mess. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, here's your document feeder now. This does raise up a bit. I mean, like I said before, you could open it and scan, but it does raise up. Just a hairline, so if you got a pamphlet or a magazine, you could probably slide it underneath. I don't think it's going to do a book. You can't do no artwork. This thing here swings out. Better look, more visible. Okay, so I think we're done. I think we're done. Click OK. Make sure to fill the tank. Proceed. Well, we did that. Press question mark for five seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003. Okay, make sure I'll fill it up. Then click the start button to start ink charging. Okay, so we'll go start. Takes about 10 minutes, so we'll come back to you. We don't want to bore you. Okay, finished initializing. Now at this point, what Epson says is that, remember we had the leftover ink here? After initialization, it's gonna use up some of the ink and you can use this leftover ink to fill it all the way up again. But we're not gonna do that. Okay, it's got finished, so we're gonna to have to load up some paper. Pulls out nicely. Okay, okay, adjustment recommended. Okay, so for first time printing, I guess. Now it's gonna do alignment, nozzle check, use up more ink. It looks good. All the lines are complete. So, okay. Now, while this thing was initializing the ink, I downloaded the software from epson.com slash support into my computer. So I'll be ready to print from the computer once this thing gets through. Not a straight. Yeah, you can see how much ink that we used up so far. Remember, they're all full. You can use up whatever's left in the bottles before and throw away the bottles. And we said which one has the fewer streaks? Let's say number three. Okay, so we proceed to two, part number five. We're just going down the list here, one, two, three, four, five. We're looking for the ones that's got the cleanest look to it. Number six again. Six and proceed. We're determining which one is a solid line, so there should be no gap or overlapping. Four, oh, that's okay. Okay, looks like we're all set to go. Ink level looks like, Wi-Fi connections. Wi-Fi recommended. Okay. So, wizard. Always use the wizard. Okay, so we just got into password. Okay, so let's do a quick one, right? B. You gotta follow that symbol there, and it looks like this one. Okay, copy works fine. We had a test page of, oh, I'm gonna waste ink again. Okay, so we go back. Let's make a, 
this is the same thing if you're going to scan it. So if a copy is just going to scan. No, it's pretty quick. So machine works. And then it's I got the software loaded in the computer. So we'll just do a wireless print test and uh, we're set to go. Check back with you later once we get this thing set up when, they, when the other old printer is. Okay. And what you do is you load, you go to epson.com slash support and you go to each of the computer and download the software. It's a pretty straightforward process. It only takes a, a couple of minutes and then you print the test page and you know it's up and running. So, Well, as you can see, it's printing out. I just got to, I'm going to move it to my desktop later. Congratulations. Okay. Shake my hands. Congratulations. It's a done deal. So pretty easy to set up. If people are having problems with it, I don't know. I mean, it's set up pretty good. Click next. We downloaded the software onto this computer. So basically I'm going to hit print. It's a document I have. And then choose different types of printers. Actually, it prints pretty quick. Everything's working out. And I'm impressed with the speed. A lot of people said this thing's slow, but uh, I don't think so. Okay. Register, you get the warranty. Okay, then you... Here's the new Epson 3850 next to what we had before. You can see the difference in size. This thing is a monster compared to this one. So smaller, lighter, then this is going to be replacing that one in a few minutes. Now in the meantime, you know, go online, register the Epson with the uh, model number and, and then the serial number, and then you get the extended warranty. And you go to each of the computer and download the software. We've got th three computers hooked up. It went smoothly for all three. So, so far there's no snag. This thing into my wireless network and there's no snags in getting all my computers to print with network printer here. So. That's about it now. Uh, next picture you're going to see will be this in place of this. Yank that one out. Hopefully I don't get a hernia, but we'll yank that one out and put this one in. You can see all the room that we have now. I got room to stick things all around it. So uh, compared to the other one, nice and compact looking. Doesn't look like a big monster in here. But granted that the uh, 8600 had a dual stack paper feeder on it. But still, it's a lot smaller, and we're going to get tons of ink usage out of this thing. And actually, I went online. The cartridges are, are pretty inexpensive. I think the black and white, the black one is like $20, and these are like $15 each for the color. So that's not much at all. Uh, we're spending tons of money with the Epson. We went with uh, generic ink with the uh, Hewlett Packard, and that saved a lot of money, but Hewlett Packard was very finicky on using that uh, generic ink. So... You have to keep playing around with it to get it working. But here, even using just a regular Epson ink, it's just relatively inexpensive considering that this is probably enough ink to last us uh, several years. So I hope you found this video informative. Please click the like button. When you have a chance, please subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching.